What is going on guys, this is Hot Wheels Fever back again with a brand new video. I haven't done a video in such a long time and I'm, you know, obviously I only got two subscribers. I actually, my, I actually subscribed to my channel with my other one, so. Anyway, if you guys are um, looking forward to my future videos, if you guys are thinking that I am a good YouTuber of some sort, you can go ahead and subscribe right now and if you're so far enjoying my content, give a like as well and comment down below. Um, I am only just starting up. This is actually my second channel. Uh, obviously, my first one being DWJ Dylan, if you already noticed that. And, um, only here I do, like, car reviews and stuff like that. Even, mostly Hot Wheels. But for now, I've, like, here and there, I would actually take out a diecast model. And I call it my own Hot Wheels, sort of Hot Wheels, um, Hot Wheels related videos. Stuff like that. And it doesn't really make sense, but, you know, obviously, this is what I do. So, anyway, today we are taking a look at this Fast Lane Lamborghini Aventador Roadster. So, we'll have a look at the packaging first. And the packaging just says Fast Lane, lights and sounds. Got this little um, picture right there of a Porsche, I guess. Demonstrating the lights, sounds, um, even the doors opening as well. And, you know, obviously it has the logos on top. Also, on the, um, you know, top of the packaging, just says, uh, just has, you know, same things. Um, it, do it does also um, have a pullback go feature, which is um, pretty cool. It takes three AG13 batteries, um, or LR44, I think that's what they're called. It's actually aged, yeah. Um, obviously on the sides right here, you get the, um, same layout. And then on the other side, you just get this Lamborghini sticker, which is, you know, telling you that's official licensed. On the back right here, you got all the other licensed, um, brands right here. You've got Land Rover, Jaguar, Audi, Lamborghini, of course, Mercedes-Benz, Jeep, Nissan, BMW, and, um, DTM. I think that's a car brand as well. And on the bottom, if you care to see... Toys R Us, I will leave a link in the description below, you can actually check out ToysRUs.com and um, I will leave a link for um, the US website and the Australian website. Also on the bottom right here, you got some more um, licensed products, it actually does say um, Fiat, Alfa Romeo, Lexus, Toyota, Volkswagen, Lotus, Porsche, Ford and General Motors. So. Um, they have a quite a few of diecast models released right now. This is actually, I think this is one of the older um, produced castings, but I just recently saw it at Toys R Us, and you know, obviously I wanted to pick it up. So that's enough of the packaging, and now on to the car itself. This car is actually very cool. I actually do love the um, orange color going through the whole entire thing. Got some black, a bit of black tempos extending over this um, black pieces right here. Very cool though, um, it has a bit of weight to it, obviously that's how it is with other ones. It is the same, the same scale as the Ego Beasta that I have just right beside right here. And um, just having a closer look right at this car, um, you can see you've got the Lamborghini Signia right in the front. Got some black right there, which, you know, obviously the Lamborghini has little intakes up front. Um, same, you know, really cool detailings for the um, grills and also got the splitter as well. Um, some silver detailing underneath the um, plastic headlights right there. On the sides, you got these little silver, I think these are reflectors. I'm still not sure what they are. I don't even know why. I'm still not sure, but you know, got the little silver detailings. Um, you got the Aventador rims right there, nicely, um, you know, molded. You got this silver paint job going through it. And if you look behind, you can also see some silver brake discs and also the brake pads as well. And also for the uh, back wheels, you know, got the same exact detailings, but this one's actually the brake discs and the calipers, whatever, are far, uh, far back. Um, got the LP700-4 logo right there, very nicely done. Very clear, but this camera cannot pick it up for some reason, because it, it likes to be a pain in the ass. Um, also get the little, um, you know, obviously you got the little intakes right there in black, separate, um, molded. And um, also for the back, got some of that silver, little, I'm going to call them reflectors for now. And, um, you know, they're very, it's very cool. Um, they did well with this, this um, Fastlane brand did really well. Also, get some of that um, detailings around the sides, right here you get the um, little windshield wipers. And um, for some reason, they didn't really take the opportunity or even take the effort to actually mold in or actually put in a little um, chrome reflector thing, like a little chrome mirror in, within. Um, instead, it's just like just basic um, side view mirrors without anything. Um, I know that um, some people like cars accurate than what they are, you know, more accurate to the car itself. I'm um, looking at the interior. They did well with the interior. Um, I'm not going to open the doors because, you know, I'm not going to spoil anything for you. Because it does have two different sounds, and I'll get to that in a second. Um, very nicely done detailings. Um, if you can see, I'm very terrible at showing you things. 
I, I really you can see some of the details right there in the um, the dashboard some of that in the consoles right there uh, it would have been better if they actually painted in some of it um, you know, obviously they could have done better um, instead this is just a basic just a basic black you know you can tell it's obviously the interior of design um, also this back trunk right here you can actually open exposing the v12 twin turbo engine and I don't need to give out any more information everybody knows that the Aventador is a v12 um, very nicely done. They actually did actually take the effort to put some silver details within. It actually does say V12 in black, but obviously it's, that's more. It's very very hard to pick up. Um, you may need to you may need a macro lens to actually pick it up if you're doing a review on this. Um, there is some Lamb there is a Lamborghini logo signia right within those engine those engine pieces right there. Um, if you can see some slight silver within uh, within here, you probably have good eyesight. I can see it, but the camera is very ha it's having a bit hard time. You can see a bit of silver right there. So um, yeah, it has a bit of trouble. This camera has trouble picking things up. Um, very nice detail over and all. Um, obviously, there's just a separate black piece with some um, tempos extending on it. Um, I thought they actually had a separate roof. Um, I actually had I, I thought it actually had two pieces of the roof, so you can actually place them in. Um, I went back and I thought it was actually missing, and I was um, I went back to the diecast style and I was trying to search for one that actually did have a roof with it, and eventually I knew it actually had nothing included with it. It looks like it does, but really, it doesn't. So either way, um, also here it is next to the Ego stud that I actually got from eBay. Uh, you can see right there. They look very nice together. Very very nice. Nice same scale. So, um, let's just take that out of the frame. Now, let's have a look at the sounds feature. So, when you open up the doors, you will get this sound. And then if you open, if you close the door back up, and you can open the same door again and make a different sound, but I'll open up this door as well. So, when you open up this door, you get this. So, yeah, very interesting. Same sounds for the Egoista. So, you take this out. So you lift up the little cockpit area, and you get this. So yeah, you get the same sounds, but this one actually has like the, you know, the unlocking and locking sound for the car. Um, also, when you press down on the wheels, you actually get the same sound, the same startup sound. But you don't get the, um... The drift skid sound, you know, obviously wouldn't really get that. Um, also, that it does have the pull back and go feature, so when you pull the car back, it's actually pretty weak. The the whole entire pull back go feature is actually pretty weak. You have to go a couple of times to actually get the clicking sounds. Make sure you know you wind it up all the way. I dropped it. Well, that had a hell of a ride. So. Uh, um, yeah, this car has uh, the same playability as the Egoist start, you know, the lights and sounds, same sounds, same exact features, um, except that you you can't open up the boot, so, anyway. So that's about it, guys, thank you for tuning in, I hope you enjoyed this um, video review in any way, shape, or form, I don't know if you guys did, so, um, if you did, just give it a like, you know, drop a like, drop a comment as well, and subscribe, and I will come out with more reviews, and Hot Wheels reviews, and more updates, and stuff like that. So that's about it, guys. See you later, and take care now. This is Hot Wheels Fever, rolling out.